All right, welcome to Cape Coral Cell Phone Repair TV. And what I'm gonna show you here is, you may or may not see it, but behind that fan, there's a large duct tied into a 205 cubic feet per minute fan, which helps get the, the soot, if you will, or dust while the laser machine is burning. And this is imperative, especially now so with some models of iPhones that you might get some of this dust inside the camera area and then it becomes an issue. And the reason is because this is the back plate that comes from the factory for this machine. And that little opening, folks, just doesn't do it. So we modified this and I will post a video up here at the top where you can see, you can just click on it and see that video we did before. But today I'm also going to go over something else that you may want to try out and then you can see back there you can see some of that silver duct back there so let's take you to the table and show you what we mean here it is if you look over here on the right you see these little caps metal caps and what they are is basically machine made with in a machine shop caps to go over the lens so while you're using your laser machine whether you're using the blue one like the one we just showed you or if you have a traditional laser machine and you have had issues in the past where the laser hits the camera and then the camera stops working this is a good fix for you so you just basically place them over the lens and that's it now what I did is I spray painted them black because they do come in silver and by painting them black it's better for some laser eyes and you don't want to have anything reflecting on it so paint them black if you can and another thing i did here another hack is i put a piece of thick double-sided tape and that's so so this will stick in there nicely especially when you have an exhaust fan like i do and look at that you put it on there and it doesn't even fall out so all you need is a small piece and it has to be the right thickness because if it sits too high then the actual metal won't sit all the way down and you will have dust going underneath into it. So this is the tape I use right here. You can see the thickness, geez I would say it's about, about an eighth of an inch. But if you use like really thin double sided tape like the Tessa tape it won't work because it needs to be thick enough so so the bottom of the of the metal here can make contact with the camera lens so the bottom here needs to make contact with the actual lens so this is another hack or solution for you once you once you do it just tape all lens use just a little small triangle like you saw there okay you see, just a small triangle is all it takes, and it's double-sided, so put it right on the glass and then just put three of these on there, run it through your laser machine. It would keep the dust from going underneath. There's some tiny holes on, on the iPhone 12 series. I'll see if I can post a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. But you do want to cover them for that. But then if you don't have a 200 cubic feet per minute fan like I do with a big with a big exhaust duct, then this is a good option for you so you don't get any of that dust in there. Personally, I don't have any issues, but again, I have the whole system modified. I'm using a good exhaust fan and a good wide duct. And again, if you wanted to see that video, I will post it at the very end of this video so it would show up with some of the video recommendations so you can check it out if you want to do that and then this is what the what the actual metal covers look like they come in in like an aluminum color basically unpainted and i i prefer to paint them a black color like you see there so it's very easy just put them down on a piece of cardboard take them outside and spray paint them and you should be able to have them done. So they have different sizes. These are for the larger, like the uh, Plus and, and the Pros. 
and then the smaller ones are for the regular size phones. So you see there's a little bit of a difference on the sizes. So they do make them for different, for all the sizes as, as well. So the key here, like I mentioned, is to get the right thickness tape. I will post a link below where you can get the tape and also where you can get these guys because they might save your camera lens from being destroyed by your laser if you have dust flying around or if you have the traditional laser again I don't have this problem with the blue laser machine I don't have any issues as far as damaging cameras the, the unit has been great for us and I don't have any issues as far as dust getting in there also because of the modification I did I don't like what what forward the company includes which is this I'm not happy with this that's why you do need to modify your your exhaust air one way or another or at least cover them up real good so you don't get any dust in there if you have any questions please post them in the comment section below thank you for watching